Today we're taking a few minutes to look at the Comet Telescoping Mast, CP45, Tripod, YS45, and the Maldol HVU8 8-band vertical. The Comet CAA500 antenna analyzer. Here is the YS45 tripod designed to hold the CP45 14.5 foot mast. Lightweight, welded aluminum construction, rubber anti-slip feet, and friction lock. Here is the CP45 lightweight telescoping mast. A double female UHF connector is included so a mobile antenna can be attached if necessary. Spacers increase the diameter of the upper section so you can attach the standard base antenna brackets that come with most antennas. Friction locks hold it securely when extended. Here we have the Maldol HVU8 parts displayed. The main mast is pre-tuned for 2 meters and 440. Five radiator elements are included. Each has its own tuning stub to adjust SWR on 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. Six adjustable radials are also included. Each radiator and radial is clearly marked. The threaded radiator studs are smaller than the radial studs, so it cannot be assembled incorrectly. Screw each of the radiators and radials into the appropriate threaded sockets in no particular order. If the antenna is being installed along the side of a building or tower, the radial rings are designed to rotate. All the radials can be rotated to one side of the antenna if needed. We're going to use the CAA500 analyzer to check SWR and adjust the HF elements. Battery life is 12 to 14 hours. Installing or changing the batteries is a simple process or use the DC option to power the analyzer. Setting the selector to the F range that covers 95 to 162 megahertz. Here we see SWR is confirmed acceptable on the 2 meter band from 144 to 148. We can check each HF band individually to find where the 2 to 1 or less bandwidth is. When checking the 40 meter range we see the SWR is best at 8.2. We know the 7 megahertz radiator element needs to be adjusted shorter to move the SWR dip higher in the 7 meg range. After adjusting the element length, we have moved the SWR dip closer to where we want it. And now fine-tuning the length can be done from here. The same process is done for each HF radiator until SWR is acceptable. If you were to use an SWR meter to check every HF band, it would be a very long process. Using the CAA500 analyzer makes tuning the HVU8, or any antenna for that matter, a simple project.